Hello everyone, my name is Emily and I am the program manager for the National Student Data Corps. Welcome to episode two of the NSDC flashcard video series where we're discussing project ontologies. Today, we're focusing on ontology design. The design of an ontology dictates how effectively it can organize and interpret complex information. At its core, an ontology consists of classes, properties, and relationships. These elements form the basic building blocks that accurately reflect the knowledge within a specific domain. Classes are fundamental entities or categories within a domain. For example, in a medical ontology, classes might include patient, medical condition, symptom, and treatment. Properties are characteristics or attributes of these classes. For example, the class patient might have a property like has condition, which would link the patient to a medical condition that they have. Relationships are how these classes interact with each other. For example, has condition is used to describe a specific aspect of the patient class. It establishes a connection between a patient and the conditions that they are diagnosed with, which is important for managing and querying patient information. Let's look at a quick example. Within the class patient, there is an instance of John Doe. John Doe has properties such as patient ID, name, date of birth, condition, and more. Within the class medical condition, there is an instance of type two diabetes with properties such as condition ID, name, and description. John Doe has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. This means for the instance of John Doe, there is a property has condition of type 2 diabetes. The has condition property links an instance of the patient class, John Doe, to an instance of the medical condition class, type 2 diabetes. This relationship helps in organizing and retrieving patient records and their associated medical conditions effectively within the ontology. Designing an ontology involves defining clear and precise classes, properties, and relationships to avoid ambiguities and overlaps. It also involves balancing specificity and generality to ensure the ontology is neither too narrow nor too broad, and ensuring scalability to accommodate future growth and changes in the domain. Through examples from sectors like healthcare, technology, and environmental science, we'll see how well-designed ontologies provide a clear structure for large data sets. For instance, a healthcare ontology can streamline patient data management, while a technology ontology can enhance software interoperability. Collaboration is key in ontology design. Domain experts provide the necessary knowledge to define accurate concepts and relationships and often provide a seed for the knowledge graph or ontology structure. They play a crucial role in answering the challenging question of how to best represent the data. Meanwhile, end users offer insights on usability and practical application. With the ever-increasing amount of data, the role of ontologies in knowledge management is becoming more critical. How will emerging technologies like AI and machine learning further transform ontology design? How might these systems enable the handling of even larger and more complex data sets? In the next episode, we'll dive deeper into some of these questions and learn how these ontologies are used in practical scenarios. We welcome you to follow along with the rest of the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series to learn more about the data science pipeline, data science ethics, and additional topics to support your journey.